to me in a way that I didn't even like know I was saying that at the time. And then that's that's also true for other people. They'll hear the song and they'll be getting out like it's my story, my life, my words, but it's representing something that's going on in their life. And that is just such an incredible thing. I love that so much. Yeah. I, I mean, that's just, uh, it, it's kind of like a human connection almost right there, Yeah, you know, and you're able to relate to them and, and they're able to relate to you. And just one of those, like, we're all in this together, kind of a, a, a it scenario. It is, definitely. You know? Which is actually kind of like what Purple Iris is is about in a way i mean you know it's about this uh relationship and at least what i took from the song was you know we're in this hopefully we continue blossoming we continue growing together and you know i feel like that's kind of the the gist of that song and and very fitting to have blake on it too yeah well i didn't i didn't write it with him and i just wrote it about us and i think i was feeling quite like how do you say it like insecure is that the right word <laughs> how dare i say that but i i just felt like i was in a phase where i was like gosh you know anything can happen at any time especially if you find that love like your your life is just so fleeting and nothing n nothing stays the same everything is changing sure. all the time and so i just wanted to write about that fear a little bit and how like at the end of the day like if you do think about it a lot you're kind of overthinking it because you really i learned this a long time ago especially being a mom it's like you just you can't worry about the future you have to be in the moment and in the moment right now like i know where everybody is i don't know nobody knows what's going to happen next so um that kind of takes some of the anxiety away but to be able to capture that whole idea in a song is what i really wanted to do and i think that the way that like it, it came about you know because with these songs like i really feel especially the good ones the ones that feel like magical like a song like purple irises like i didn't really feel like i wrote it like it, it was just all of a sudden it just kind of came down to me and i was like okay. oh my gosh like yes that's what i'm feeling you know and um i just love that so the, i love this the magic of songwriting so much with that song too, I mean, when that type of stuff kind of hits you, like it's almost therapeutic in a way, right? Yes, 100%. They all are. In fact, that's why sometimes like you're playing these songs that are, might be full of like, you know, really bad memories, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And sure. you're on tour and you're like revisiting these songs. Um, and, you know, there's some of them I just, I literally would care not to play, but I do them and it's interesting because like even like a song like Sweet Escape, I can remember I was going through like a really rough thing, right? Totally nothing to do with that song lyrically, like what I wrote it about originally. And I got up on stage when I was going through this stuff and I had like kind of reinterpreted the words to what was going on in my life right then. And I was like, oh my gosh, this song is so relevant for me right now, but yet it's not even about what I originally wrote it about. So it's just cool how songs can do that. They're healing, you know? Yeah, exactly. And they're, they're, you know, sometimes they are for different situations. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, this is like this, at, you know, at the same time. Yeah. Yes. The, uh, the, the power of music, essentially, <laughs> which, you know, the sweet escape, by the way, I remember when I first heard that song, I think it was on American Idol. Like, did, did you premiere it on American Idol? Gosh, I, I zero remember, like at yeah. all. I can remember Either writing way. it. That's all. That's a really, really big one because I had just given birth to Kingston and I literally was not going to go to that session because I was like, I'm just not, I'm not in the mood. You know what I mean? I just want to be here with my baby. And I ended up going and, and writing that song. And even when I left the studio, I was like, is this song that good like I didn't know you know I didn't I wasn't sure because I wasn't myself yet because I had just had this baby and um and then it ends up being this this song that really was like took me right around the world again I went on a world tour right. did like 120 shows and and the name of the tour was Sweet Escape and it was just such a magical time and then now here we are in 2024 and it's like trending on TikTok again it's like people are rediscovering it and it's just it's a miracle I mean there's not it, it there's nothing to explain it like it's just like wow such a wow yeah. you know tiktok is doing that too like just what's old is new again you know yeah and like i've heard no doubt songs on tiktok before as well and you know which you guys actually are going to be getting back together uh for coachella yes we're so which is we're so dope. excited we've been doing lots of like production zooms and trying to like create what we're going to do, what we're going to, how the set list is going to go and what we're going to wear, all the stuff that goes into putting a show together. And um, it's going to just be magical. And in, in fact, like sometimes I don't even want to like talk about it too much because sometimes when you build it up so big, you know what I mean? I just want to just jump on stage and just 
see what happens, you know? Right. But I guess you can't really do that. But I know it's going to be incredible. Wait, which songs are you uh, like really excited to perform again? No doubt songs. I like the hits. I'm always a hits like girl, like cause, because those are the ones that people just die. You know what I mean? They're just like it's there's that connection. It's like yeah, here it is again, and we're gonna just bring them all out. We're just gonna be like, pew, 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 here's another one. You like that one? I'll slap you with this one. You know, yeah. like I love it. It's gonna be so fun. Wait, even the what about even though like the songs that you uh uh you know you say some songs kind of bring back bad memories or something like that. Yeah, uh, I think like, there's a song you, that the one that comes to mind very quickly is a song called Ex Girlfriend, which we'll probably end up playing. I'll probably like throw up when I do it, but yeah. Okay. Well, there, we'll have a bucket on stage. I'm <laughs> yeah, sure we'll be, perfect. You know, well, yo, really, uh, really appreciate you stopping by. Purple Iris is such a good song, Thank and, and, you. and I'm assuming. I'm assuming we're going to hear some more new music. Uh, yes, there recently. is going to be, there is a whole record and just trying to finish it up and going to drop it on you guys and, and let you have some, some listening time. I don't know. You know, it's like one of those things where um, you never know what's going to happen next. And I just, just loved making this record over a very long period of time and just was listening to my demos this morning. And it's, it's one. Of, it's that phase before it comes out where you really. I really listen to the songs a lot, and then once they come out, it kind of goes into the next phase where I just give them away, and then it, I probably don't listen to the record anymore. It's sure. just I, a lot of people say that about their records until you're playing them live, of course. But um, it's it's really been incredible to be able to still songwrite and go through that whole process. But can't wait to share. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. We're really looking forward to it. <laughs> thank and, you. And uh, again, thank you for stopping by. It's been dope talking to you. Thanks for chatting. See you later, sure. dude. Bye. Later.